Well, hello, it's a new day and I'm in the car line where you can find me um, most days out of the week. Let me turn the AC down. There we go. Oh, uh, so I'm in the car line with this nice wet shirt because I apparently don't know how to use mugs properly or maybe my mouth just anyways so um, I wanted to show you my progress on my love magic dress we are as you've already seen the body is done we're almost halfway through the bell sleeve increase and as you can see I'm using every knickknack I could find except for my cute stitch markers um, <laughs> to mark my places but I have enjoyed the process this pattern is extremely straightforward easy to follow um, I again I've overcomplicated it by deciding I was gonna stripe the dress because I just I want it to be different and I just want to say if you're working on a test that doesn't require color work in any way shape or form don't do this <laughs> save yourself the time by just doing what the test calls for I used to do this when I was a early into testing and when I tested more frequently than I do now which I would make the my sample something that was perfect for my wardrobe versus just making the sample straight up like the test calls for and only looking for any type of you know like vague uh vague verbiage or um like mathematical errors and this is a very rookie move for me and I should have just made the dress straight up the solid dress that it calls for um because the stripes honestly the stripes have not slowed me down but with my head being all over the place keeping the keeping up with the stripes on top of making sure my accounts are right and things like that i've just added more on to the test than was absolutely necessary like i love the pattern i'm sure i'll probably eventually end up making another dress I should have just made this one plain um but i had the yarn i had the suggested yardage even though that's only an estimate because you know you got to get through it to know what you really need but yeah so i call that my rookie move but i'm not completely mad at what i've done i'm just like with my head being all over the place and me having so much to do in my own business um it was just added work that I didn't need uh, but uh, the test isn't due until June 12th so I have just under a month left and my goal is to have both sleeves done by the end of next week so I can still be done well in advance um, but this is like the longest I've ever taken to knit anything that was a test so I'm really just kind of like I'm probably being harder on myself than I need to be but I mean, I'm only making a size small, so to say that I've been working on this for two months on and off, <sighs> I could have done better. But it is what it is. But um, that's just my quick update on the dress. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I don't really know where that came from. Oh, I know. My throat's dry since I spilled all this water on me instead of drinking it. Anyways, um, that's my mini update is we are half a sleeve down and we only have one and a half more sleeves to go. But I mean, can you see the shaping, how it's coming along? I think that's really nice. And just imagine this is going to get like three times as big really excited about that and I think to say that I'm it's such a groovy looking dress and I mean that was the vibe I was going for like I said very Missoni very um like a bohemian retro look and I firmly believe that I fulfilled that vision in my mind and I really can't wait to get to the end and get the lace bits done and get 
all of it blocked because it needs just a light blocking um but the fit spot on 10 10 recommend and i can't wait to show you what it looks like when i've knocked out both sleeves okay so it's late the husband left to go get light bulbs because we need light bulbs in one of our bathrooms i'm sitting in my office space because i got a new lampy lamp ain't she cute she cute um she's taller than me isn't she yeah <laughs> and i love that brass arched um thrifted it off of marketplace but what are we doing because everybody's sleep or gone, we're knitting. And um, I should have just set up my camera versus holding my phone, but anyways. I am like a few, a few repeats away from getting to the lace hem. And I'm so excited, so excited. The increases for the bell, I don't know why I put it off so long because honestly it's probably one of my favorite parts of the pattern because it's such a simple increase in the round and it's very rhythmic so I almost wish I would have did the sleeves first then just finished the body because I dragged it out because I felt like it took me forever to get the length of the skirt even though it's such a short skirt um so yeah that is my tip another tip for this pattern is just do the sleeves like once you get done with the waist leave your stitches on either waist yarn or um a cable if you have it available and then just skip straight to the sleeves because the sleeves are really fun not like to say that nothing is fun about this pattern um because all of it is and again i made this more work on myself by deciding to stripe it but um 10 out of 10 recommend skipping to the sleeves because they're just really fun to work up like and it's taken me no time at all I'm sorry I'm not even showing my face it's taken me no time at all to get to the sleeves and look how fun and big they've gotten like what what okay I'll show you my progress when I have the sleeve finished Okay, but seriously, seriously, like, have you seen my silhouette? Shush, 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 okay. Hello friends, how are we doing? I'm talking a little low because I have a sleeping baby and I'm going to make this quick because we're going to finish this up with the final reveal it's reveal time we're here yes my love magic dress has been completed striped from top to bottom um i color blocked the neck and the lace hem on the skirt and the sleeves and they keep their order in appearance like the intentionality behind all of the colors is and how they've been worked up it's amazing it's amazing okay so how do we how do we feel about it how was this process i thoroughly enjoyed knitting this dress um like i mentioned prior i wish i would have did the sleeves first um because the skirt was just so mindless um and the sleeves just gave me a little bit more fun uh to get me through so maybe it was best that I did them last because it made finishing off the pattern that much more exciting because the drama is the sleeves. Like you see how big these bell sleeves are. They're huge. I did the large bell sleeve version of this test and there is a small bell sleeve, but these large bells are where it's at. The lacy bits, so nice, such an easy four row repeat um and it's really only three row repeat because the last row is a repeat of the previous row so yeah um 
I think for my size, the repeat was across like, I think like 16 stitches at a time or something like that. But I mean, it was a very simple, straightforward lace section. And the hem is the same on the sleeves and the bottom of the skirt. So my skirt is technically one repeat short, um, but I like the length. And if I so choose to go back and add in excuse me, add in that extra four set of four rows of stitches, then um, yeah, it'd only be about like maybe an inch longer, but not like a dramatic inch. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, so I'm very happy with this. Um, again, the skirt itself was very mindless. The pattern as a whole is so straightforward, very easy to follow. Um, I think Holly of Disco Stitch, um, who designed this dress, and she's just amazing. I love her patterns. I've tested for her, this is what, the third time now? Yeah, Capricorn crop top, that was my first test. And then the bet bed jacket number two. Then the love magic dress would be number three. So this is my third test, even though I feel like there's one more thing that I've tested for Holly and I just don't remember. I'm, I might be just overthinking it. Um, but yeah, this is my third test for Holly and um, I just love how her brain works. I love how, you know, seeing the item come together, there's so much satisfaction in working up her patterns. Um, I mean, from start to finish. I use, as y'all know, uh, Lion Brands Respect, which is their recycled polyester. It's polyester, cotton, and acrylic yarn. Um, it does have a bit of a halo to it, not much. Um, it doesn't look like old, if that makes sense. Like, it doesn't have that old, worn look. It literally looks like a very, a very much an intentional halo. And if it got it seems very easy to like maintain like if it started to get peely or just maybe a little unruly looking I could just easily take a deep peeler or sh you know shave it down and it would just freshen it up a bit um but I love it like watching it block and grow just ooh, love it I guess I should um just really quickly show what it looks like on so how do we like how do we like a soft a line it's a baby doll cut so the waist shaping happens just underneath the bust but there's instructions for you to basically customize where you want the skirt portion of the dress to start as far as making sure it accommodates the width of your hips and circumference of your hips so yeah there's that i mean she's literally thought of how many rows you need for the neck that you may or may not like. How you want to do the fit of the arm and describes perfectly how everything should fit and how it should look on you. Me, I have a slight seam down the back that I could block out a little bit better. Um, but that's because of all the stripes. Instead of like breaking my yarn and starting with a new color, I just have a seam of the floats down the back and down the insides of each arm so again i didn't have to just keep cutting and starting over um and it's not that noticeable it's not that serious and i've started layering bits with it so i'll show you what it looks like um just one of the style options i had in my head really quickly three two one yeah all right so I love the idea of it paired with a pinafore. What? I thrifted this off Poshmark for what, like maybe $14? And this, when I first tried it on, obviously she tight and she short. And your girl is thick, okay? Got a lot going on back here. So um, I thought of a way of just adding just a little ruffle or flounce to the bottom, you know, just to give me a little bit more length. And I never got around to it. But then I made this dress and I was like, what, what, 
it just makes perfect sense right right okay now back to you okay so final thoughts oh, i guess i can bring you in a little bit closer so final thoughts is this dress is amazing the pattern is amazing um it is derived from the original love magic sweater which is a crop sweater um or you can make it a full length sweater with large or small bell sleeves and holly had the bright idea of making it an entire dress and i'm so glad that she did because there's so much that you can use with this silhouette like i said for layering or just wearing as is the original pattern is written to be a solid dress um i was just extra you know and i wanted to see it striped so that's what i did and with full permission though please again if you're testing and you're new to testing for anyone, make sure you have permission to do any type of modification to what the pattern looks like before you get into it. Because A, it could be disrespectful um, to the original design. B, if you can't take accurate notes with yardage um, and weight, and that's something that your designer really needs to know, don't overcomplicate things by doing extra you know just stick to the task at hand which is making sure it's a sound pattern making sure you understand it and giving any type of constructive feedback that the designer can use um, to their benefit and yours as um, the maker so and tester so uh, yeah that's it i hope i um have encouraged you to want to try out this pattern and um to get it when it releases which will be later um I believe in the fall don't necessarily remember I just know my test was due or is due on the 12th so I'm still ahead of time <laughs> with life evolving and constantly having so much to do for myself um, in my own business I almost felt crazy for signing up for this test and then wanting to stripe it and all that other jazz but I'm glad that I did it I'm glad I committed I'm glad I stuck to my timeline and I was able to get it done um, in a timely fashion and yeah this is on and off even though I've only shown you the back half of it I've worked on and off for about 10 weeks on this dress so it was a 12 week test and I spent about 10 weeks on and off on this and so it's definitely um, it's a confident boosting project but it is also a huge labor of love um, I don't know how many more tests I'll be taking on this year because I'm not sure I'll just be able to continue to meet the timelines. And um, even though this one was plenty of time, even for my size, uh, but still, I just don't know if I'm ready to divide any more of my time. Um, but let Holly keep coming up with the designs that look like this and... <laughs> I might be willing to make the exception. She's one of the few designer friends that I have that I'm like, if I can fit it in, I'm going to do it, <laughs> you know, um, because she she's amazing and her work is amazing. It speaks for itself. You know what I'm saying? And people like me who love playing with color and textures um, can do beautiful things with patterns of this caliber so i hope you enjoyed this video I, again i hope you're in, excited and encouraged to try out this pattern when it is released and i will catch you on the next one